Hey, and welcome back to Smoky Ribs. Today, what I'm doing for you is a steak finger sandwich. I'm sure you all have heard of steak fingers and fries. Well, this is a twist I'm putting to steak fingers. Stick around, it's gonna be good. If you want a good backyard barbecue till you get your feel, you come to the right place. Rubs Jones Smoky Ribs. Smoky Ribs. Smoky All right, before we get started, I want to tell you a real quick story. Back in May at JB Spring Fling, I got to meet one of my subscribers there, and he was talking to me about a place in Texas where he grew up that used to sell these steak fingers, and what he really loved about it was the sauce that they dip it in. When the place closed down, the recipe was lost forever. None of the family members gave it out. It was just still under lock and key. So he kind of went on a mission to recreate this on his own. And what he come up with is so simple, it's, it's going to surprise you, but he said it tastes identical to what they served on theirs. So with that said, I got to thinking about the steak fingers and the sauce. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to make a sandwich out of that, and that's what we're going to do today. But first, we're going to get started by let me show you how simple the sauce is. Anyone can do it. Ingredients are very simple. Let's get started. I've got around a half, two, three quarters of a cup of mayo here. I didn't even measure it. Now, what we have here... This is a little packet of cheese powder like you get in macaroni and cheese. I'm just going to take, and I'm going to add like a teaspoon at a time, teaspoon and a half, whatever that is. I'm going to start with them too. I'm going to add in a little paprika. It's about a, maybe a teaspoon. It's going to give this a good mix. Just give us a good blend until you got one constant, continuous color. All right, let me give this a little taste and see what we got here. Mmm, wow. That is good. All right, I'm just going to simply cover this, put it in the fridge, let it hang out until we're ready to make these sandwiches. All right, so let's go ahead and get ready to do these steak fingers. I'm going to start with one cup of all-purpose flour. Now, into that, I'm putting one teaspoon of seasoned salt. This is Lowry seasoned salt. And I've got one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I'm also going to add in somewhere around a half teaspoon of cracked black pepper. All right, I'm taking a whisk. I'm going to go ahead and incorporate all this in real well. One cup of whole milk. Into that, add three eggs. And give this a good whisk. All right, so what I've got here is cube steak. This is what we're going to be making our fingers out of. And all you're going to do is simply cut some strips out of this, just like that. All right, so we're going to take one of these. You want to lightly dust it with flour, then dredge it into our egg and milk mixture here, then back into the flour. Give it a good coating. And we're just going to lay them out on a sheet right here. All right, let's do another. Just a real quick dusting, not heavy, into the milk and egg, and right back into the flour, and on to the sheet pan. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start this stove up. We're going to put this on a medium heat. And I'm going to be using some cooking oil. I'm using canola. We'll go about a quarter inch deep. We're going to let that heat up and into that I'm adding a couple tablespoons of butter. I've got my oil up to fry in temperature. We're going to go ahead and drop about four or five of these in. We're going to brown one side. All right, let's see what we look like on the bottom here. Oh, yeah, that's looking good. Got a nice crust. Go ahead and flip them all over. Let them brown on the other side. And we'll add some more. All right, these are done. We're going to go ahead and simply put them on some paper towels, drain the grease off of them. Get ready for another batch. 
All right, what I've done is I've divided these up. This is not all of them. I still have more over here where I was draining the grease off, but uh, I've got these separated for individual buns. I'm gonna top the big Swiss cheese on top of each layer of the finger steaks. I'm gonna put it on broil. We're gonna melt this down, get them nice and bubbly. Let's go ahead and put one of these sandwiches together. I'm gonna take this special mayo here that I made at the beginning we're going to simply rub a layer here on the bottom. Now I can see why that would be a good dipping sauce for finger steaks. A little heavy there. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, now you could eat that without the lettuce and tomato. I happen to like lettuce and tomato. This is actually a, a mix like you would eat in a salad. And that's what I want on here, so that's what we're going with. And finally, last but not least, we're going to put a top on it. Let's do a taste test. All right, here we go. Let's give it a try. Wow. That has a fantastic flavor, man. That's, that's a touch of Southern cooking, actually. It's, it's like chicken fried steak. And that sauce is killer on it. That mix yeah. of that steak finger. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Hope you give it a try. Barry, I want to thank you for uh, sharing your recipe with me. And until next time, Smoky Ribs.